family's off limits, okay? At the end of the day, family is off limits. No more. Unless it's my family. Yeah. The Odalities can handle then it. Then she's on limits. <laughs> 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 Welcome to episode number 17 of the Mighty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We are here today with Jackson O'Doherty and we've got a wild episode in store. I'm pretty sure I've got COVID and I've been coming in, I've been hugging everyone and I'm fucking sick as shit still from the wedding and <laughs> we got a fucking jam-packed episode. we got Tinder Adventures, we've got Matt vs. Michael, we got Prank Call. We didn't get time for a fucking Matt Brown diary entry, but I'll tell you what, there'll be one next week yeah hey you must wait for that <laughs> <laughs> so nice oh man so fucking jackson was mc at my wedding and that's the f- was that how many weddings have you been to i don't know what camera to look into probably this one right the middle yeah. one middle the middle one? that one yeah really or you can i might I have one eye on each on, on an eye on each i'm gonna do an eye on each <laughs> what was the question <laughs> have you how many weddings have you been to I've been to three weddings. Uh, one was one of my ex-girlfriends at Lake Como. It was really fucking cool. Second one was Riley Re- Riley Reeds, and the third oh, one was yeah. yours. Holy Fuck shit. Riley Reeds would have been. I'm kind of set, shit. The bar has been set. Like every wedding has been so good. Yours was the best, and I think it's because like everyone there was my good friend. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fucking Friends. good fun, eh? Oh man, Jason's emceeing. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> pretending to have an anxiety attack. Look, <laughs> pretending you could have tattoos, by the way. Oh yeah. Also, I wasn't pretending. I was. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh man, it was. Yeah, there was some definitely like it. It, it, it um. See, it, it was. It, what, what do I, you think? It was the greatest night of my adult life. Maybe my whole life. I texted. I texted both of these guys and said the next next day. I said it was the best day of my life. What time did you party through to? Till I got home. <laughs> Which was. Till like that's when I got home. Yeah. <laughs> it must have been late. I don't keep tabs on time. Time is nothing, bro. Where's dude? I only got time. Uh, um, what happened this week? Oh fuck! Here we go. <laughs> oh Jesus! I spat. I spat three times into his asshole. Then, <laughs> literally two good dollops of my spit oh, landed oh. into his asshole. It was like cum shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah Michael's was... just for those <laughs> listening. For those listening on Spotify, Michael's just stood up, pulled his pants down, mm. showed his bare ass to us. He did more than that. And passed gas. So. Whilst Jackson spat spit. <laughs> Jackson was having spits at his hole. <laughs> they reek so bad. Oh, man. I only I shat late last night and not early this morning, so the shit has built up, and now my fart wind is passing through past the shit, and then it goes into your nostrils. And that's sponsors. Yeah, fuck man, that felt good. <laughs> oh my god. Man. Anyway, the weekend. What's <laughs> fucking going on? We had a bit of golf, didn't we? Oh, Michael got another hole in one on a pitch and putt. So not really a yeah. hole in one. Same, different hole at the same pitch and putt. Eighteenth bang, last shot in. Had witnesses. It was. I don't know. Since I've done it before, it's like whatever now. <laughs> anyway, no one cares me. about golf though, <laughs> man. But we're playing. Oh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's all oh golf, dude. Yeah, Holy Michael's shit. fucking obsessed with it. It's now. Get, it's like literally the meaning of life to me now, man. What do you think about it? Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> talk yeah. is talk is probably better than yeah, golf. Talk yeah, yeah, talk there's more money. There's more money, more in, money it. in it. There's too. more money in it. There's more money in talker. That's where we were making the most money. Talker days Yeah I guess <laughs> Oh man Anyway let's fucking get these sponsors done And fucking rip into Jackson's Wait, overseas okay. I, stories I want to show you my weekend Oh fucking hell here we go Matt I've Brent's got all of those Fucking weekend yeah. You found them Peter No no I got I went to You um, took mine <laughs> Oh it's disgusting oh! oh it's wet Yeah well don't do it <laughs> He's annoyed that you're spinning at him even though he's showing you his asshole a meter from his face. He's spreading his asshole a meter in my face and he's upset that he got a little bit of fluid on him. Yeah, I was trying to get my scent to you. I didn't didn't want it. He stole my cards. No, these are mine. I won these. Can I see? All right, Matt. That's my weekend. No, tell us how you won the fucking cards. I went to the... the, um, Did you go to the arcade by yourself? You went to a children's hospital. went to the arcade and... and Who with? Wait, who did you go there with? Just me. No, Fuck you off. went with a girl. You are lying. No, I went to the arcade by myself. No, you went lying. lying. No one does that. You You're swear right. to God. Only pedophiles and, and pe- to, predators do I that. I tried to win some lollies from this machine. It had lollies in it, but it had heaps of Willy Wonka cards, so I got Charlie. And did you give them to kids? Well, no, because they you can get point. You can get um, wait. What, what the fuck is going on? Fuck you, cunt! Is this real? You Don't can go do to the arcade on yeah, your own. Man. Which uh, which arcade did you go to? I went to the one at Chermside. 
Dude, One, I don't oh, know. Fuck off. Go. You swear you went by yourself. I went by myself. No, you went with a movie loser. You friend. leave him alone, Michael. You had, you had sex with something. I know. I didn't have sex. I just went to the place on my Living? own. Oh, my account. God. It's just clicked. I realized why he did not answer his phone Saturday morning or come hang out with us after golf oh, you Saturday night. Had a date. You fucking slammed something. No, you had something sex. in your room. You had something wrapped around your little flock law. Did it's you? His hand? Oh, no you way. You did. You are lying. You fucked it. No, I swear on mum I didn't have sex yeah, with Yeah, you anyone. bullshit. You fucked something. I don't break my promises. He's giving like you, you his do. word and his word is his okay, bonus. So you went, you went, you went to the arcade with her and you stayed up late. No, I just went to the arcade by myself. You fingered her. You've taken this too far. <laughs> I'm just trying to... You've ruined everything. Okay, sorry. You've ruined Christmas. Yeah, I just won some... What? what cards so Friday and... night, you went to the arcade on your own? Yeah. Just, I've been to the cinema by myself play. before. And I got nearly got everyone from the whole movie. It was good. Look, I even got an Oompa Loompa. Yeah, Matt, look. It's not really... You need the golden ticket, though, to get the <coughs> everything. I've, I've done that. I've completed that. But like, oh, yeah, fuck, when you man. were a child. No, no, literally, it was a few years ago. I know. I, fuck. I, oh my I was, god, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. You kept I was, that a secret. I know. I was. Yeah. You're sorry. secretly collecting Willy Wonka cards. That's maybe worse. No, 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 no. I've. I, 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 uh, sorry. You're both. What the fuck? Card but collecting. What, so you went. Al- no, you did not go alone. You don't go to the arcade alone. Yeah, I, I don't around. think so either. You went with. You a went girl. with something, living or dead. Why can't I go alone? Because you're lying. I know. Why would you? You're nearly a 40 year old man. You would have been arrested immediately. Yeah. <laughs> a 40 year old man walking around on his own. Anyway, sponsors? Yeah, let's fucking get the sponsors out of the way. And then Jackson will wake Jackson up and he can tell us about America. Spit <sighs> on him, Michael. Athletic Greens. That's hot. Athletic Greens, everybody. Athletic Greens. <laughs> Cheer it to the sky. Athletic Greens, everyone. Athletic, athletic greens. greens. What are they doing? Athletic do? Greens, everybody. Everyone, Athletic Greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash fully actual, everyone. Go to Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens. Everyone, get your Athletic Greens. Stand up and cheer, Athletic Greens. Stand up and cheer, Athletic Greens. Stand up and cheer, Athletic Greens. Get your athleticgreens.com. Yeah. Athleticgreens.com. Yeah. I shut him down before he could do it. Yeah, I got scared. Defense. No, the, the, if in, you want to feel good, <laughs> and you want to, I think that's the end of it. That breath deal. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> do you think people no, no. will buy it? I, I literally had it before, and it made me feel I'm much more energetic. <laughs> you threw up after. I saw you throw no, up. No, no, no. Athletic I, greens, everyone. You may throw up. Athletic greens. You might throw up. You'll be healthy. No, but you may throw up. up. You won't throw up. That is a lie. But it's really good for you. It's so healthy. It's got 75 in it. Joe Rogan promotes it. So we do it too. No. I want it. I want some yeah. athletic. No, I have it every do. day, sometimes twice. Matt doesn't, but you can see you what can happens. See. You can see yeah, what I happens. Well. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have it? What I'll is be- it? I would love to try it. Athletic I'm, greens. Oh, I love putting some. things in my body. I'll get one for you right now. <laughs> Shave a patch from my penis. I was gone, what, 30 seconds back in a jiffy? Shave try a that and tell me it doesn't make yeah, you feel you better. You will actually feel better. Get he, it out of my face. He won't trust you. He's. I'm going to have to have a sip first. Oh, can I have it if you don't want it? Because I actually want it. It Matt Brown needs greens. to try it too. No, skull the whole thing. No, no, I want Brown. You will, you will get an energy boost. I, I yeah. promise. Is there caffeine in it? You no, will feel no. so much better. Oh, it smells good. Just skull it and... Don't. Sorry. Don't, don't pressure. pressure him. Don't pressure him. I get it. You're passionate about it and I support yeah. passion. Look, I really like However, it. you need to understand that there's a process. Okay. And I'm not going to rush this. I would rather inject meth into my veins and my left arm before I scull a drink from you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And look, I've got a scar on here from when I jabbed up on the weekend. Oh my god, oh, yeah. you did too. I'm out here. Yeah, I'm out here trying things. <laughs> it's good to try something new and start new hobbies. It's a good way to network. Well, it's a great gro- brain growth as well. Great for networking. Yeah. Experience exchange. Yeah, yeah I'm a heroin enjoy, addict. You enjoy that. I'm a heroin addict. That will, no, seriously, you can do heroin and then have that, and you're fine. Dude, just drink the whole thing. I don't want it. I'll have it. I drink enough Brown, shit. give it to me. But anyway, it's got 75 really healthy things in it that will make you feel better immediately. It's like a $120 subscription thing. and They drop it at your front door. You outsource your health card. Oh, but all this, I've seen this guy eat like 30 pieces of fruit and now greens powder. It's yeah, like, yeah, that's all you're all probably having does. so much that you're actually doing your heart harm. A lot yeah, of sugar. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're going to get diabetes. Oh, well, there you go. That's a good that counter. man. Idea. <laughs> okay. Manscaped blueberries. This is for everyone out there who's got a bit of fur draped across their back. Do you realize what you're doing? Deodorant. You don't even know 
how good you could be. How do you use this? <laughs> that's, that's one of their taglines, Manscaped. How do you <laughs> use this? <laughs> Yeah, go to manscaped.com. They have a range of male grooming products that are so new invention that you will be... You can even hit G-spot. That you will be a better man than what you were yesterday. It's derogatory. Oh. Also for women, but... Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, okay, like good. women's butts. And gender Make sure you and, shave it. And gender fluids. So if you're a fucking hairy... Oh, I can't... I don't have the energy to abuse people right no, now. No, no. Just be a positive one. Look, just like everything Everyone else... Everyone go out there and just do your best and go to manscaped.com. Use our discount code, fullyactual20. And I promise you, so, oh. these products are next level, bro. We all use them and like... It's good. You nip your balls a lot less. You like I used to have massive, huge slices across my testicles all the time. Do a little bit of I'd abuse. I have massive fucking slices and cuts across my balls. Sometimes half a ball would be hanging out. It goes straight to the hospital. Now with the new Manscaped lawnmowers, my th this huge divots in my testicles are barely even noticeable, and I nick my balls far, far less. I still do nick them sometimes. My balls are huge, folded floppy skin and it's hard to hold the skin tight the whole time but I'd so I do real really bleed a lot I bleed so much still when I use manscaped but a lot less it's a lot less manscaped.com for all your do you guys have a, do you guys have a code or anything it is also fully limited. actual 20 fully actual 20 everyone that's, that's 20 percent off yeah. Jackson great reminding that was good psyops it's great reminding you can see that Jackson's done this before never our, our discount code Good. is fully actual 20 go and bleed less it's my company it's my company Jackson owns it mm. anyway Full. and it's also for women Oh yeah, for Ooh. women who are going transitioning and have beards and hairy back and shit, you want to you want to smooth that shit out. You want to go back to transitioning the other one, get a manscape, and also for other normal women. Not that transitioning is not normal. It's for protect everyone. trans kids. It's for protect everyone. trans kids. Protect trans kids. Next. <laughs> anyway, here we are. I'm the scat man with the with the beautiful Jackson O'Doherty, and he's come out and he's come out in his super Superman outfit. I think it's nice. Surprise, Jackson <laughs> O'Doherty, <laughs> Superman. Ah, oh, the secret's <laughs> out. Oh, how is fucking America, cunt? Man. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, homie. <laughs> oh, me. Um, no. <laughs> Very good. You like that, Jules? <laughs> it does sound real. America was no, very man. good. America was very good. Why? What happened? Tell me, have you been there before? <coughs> never. First yeah. trip, and New it was wonderful. No, you've been to uh, New York? Never been to New York. Never been to Louisiana. Never is, it, is it exactly what they say? Is it beautiful? Let me tell you. Have you heard the song called Empire State by Jay-Z? No. Sing it, man. Never heard Concrete it. Concrete jungle, what dreams are made. Oh, yeah. Is that oh. from Jay-Z? I, I thought that Keys. was, Alicia thought Keys. That was Ariana. No, Alicia Keys yeah. and Jay-Z. It was That song perfectly describes New York. That's great. Is that your first time in New York? First time ever. I've been to America 12 times. And Did I've you have never, a... Never, never sorry. Been. Pepperoni pizza? Every day. I only ate pizza and burgers for like... The whole is there cunts on the streets being like, yo, come and get a burger? It's not like that. You're like, you want a cup of coffee? You want a coffee? You want a hot dog? You want a cup of coffee? No. Nope. Put some sauce on your hot dog. Nope. Mustard? Mustard nope. and ketchup? Were there nope. like planes going towards buildings and shit? <laughs> yeah, there was, but they kept going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering because it's such a dense like as they, as they, yeah, city. As it's, everything's very close. I get what you're saying. Like, they start in the airport, they go up. Pretty close to a But few are people buildings. like doing this? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what people are doing. <laughs> Everyone's <Was> like, <laughs> Did you go to Rhode Island? Yep. Is there such a thing? Stratton yeah. Island, Rhode Island, oh my God. Brooklyn. Did you uh, see the Warriors, that mm. gang around? It's wrong place. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, doesn't no, New York have Brooklyn? Is that part of New yeah, York? Yeah, Brooklyn. I went to Brooklyn. And is there like lots of shootings and shit? No. Marijuana is legal. Marijuana got legalized last year, so I was walking around getting high as fuck every day. Yeah, fucking hell, You can man. buy blunts that have got three grams of weed in them, and I didn't realize I was just buying them nonstop. I spent $2,000 in the first week just on weed. Holy How shit. How much is a blunt? <clears throat> I thought they were like street. 10 bucks and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy a bunch and I was puffing through them. They were like 59.95 USD and I was like the going one. through four or five of them a day, but then I'd... <sighs> oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I 
just got attacked. <laughs> <laughs> he just got spat on from everywhere. That was very good. I'm very <laughs> proud of you guys. He was holding that. Oh, yeah. Quickly, he got up. That was more more liquid than a shower. <laughs> I had so much more ready, and I was I'm awesome. so I'm, I'm so accurate with the my spinning smell. too. Yeah, I'm all wet. Like I'm, like I could, I, I, could, I, could, I could, land spin on Julian's knee from here. Go on. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh, dude, incredible. That was incredible! I don't um, make up much. Is that natural? <laughs> now I went up the Empire State <laughs> Building by myself on shrooms, and it was very fun. Oh like, wow! Really? W w anxiety? A little. People? A little bit. I don't know. Oh, wait, is Sick. that when your stories and you're just like going over people nah, when they're lying down? Different place. Okay. Empire State, uh, my friends I was there with left. I had a day or pretty much two days by myself just in New York and I was just walking around getting baked, eating food. And then they sell shrooms. You can buy shrooms in microdosing chocolate now in a lot of the shops there. I don't know if it's legal or not, but they sell them. Wow. And you can buy little ice cream cones, like a little like like chocolate ice cream cones. And um, I swallowed my and I uh, bought a few of the shrooms. There's like one gram per cone. You break it in half, obviously. You can get the chocolate blocks. Each piece is a microdose. And I didn't realize the Holy cones. Fuck. I was like, fuck up. Me and Lockie knows that the, uh, the cones are pretty strong. But um, I ate a full one of the ice cream cones, which was about a gram. And it was good. I was feeling pretty like... <laughs> and then yeah. and then I had four or five pieces of chocolate. And um, I was for sure like... I wasn't having crazy visuals of things coming at me, but everything was very wavy and slow and colorful. And I felt a little bit nauseous. What, so you're gonna have fucking headaches and stomach there. cramps? Stomach cramps, yeah, no headaches. And then okay. I was like pretty cooked on it. I was like, fuck, what should I do? I was like, fuck it, I'll go up Empire State. And it was like a stormy night and it was just so cool. Like to watch all- the Did you see lighting. the statue? Yeah. Was Macaulay Culkin there? Nope. So your podcast, you've been- Any seeing? pyramids? Mm-hmm. You've been pumping the fucking potties out. So you had you filmed ten podcasts there. That was in LA. Yeah, filmed a bunch in LA. And so you've changed the name of it to Shadow Band, right? Yeah. If anyone's watching and you want to go and watch it, it's called Shadow Band on YouTube and I Spotify. I like that name better. I think it um, suits it more. A few girls had one called Outspoken. They were really nice about it. I was like, oh, fuck it, save all the bullshit. Just what was some of the guests you had on? Had Kieran Lee, probably the number one on top three male porn stars ever to live. He's, Did you? Has he got a massive Did you dick? Fuck him? Yeah, I fucked him. Yeah, he's got a big dick. Did he uh, show you? He didn't show you. I've seen it. He's got his penis was insured for a million dollars. So what, like that big erect? I don't know. I don't know. Felt about that big. Yeah, felt about that big. <laughs> That's hot. Let's just say I haven't been shitting right since that day. <laughs> oh, no, Jackson. Was he really not? <laughs> My tummy got twisted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> me guts got gambled. Mm, You're probably pregnant. Mm. Men can get pregnant now. Yeah, and so you got yeah, you're getting Dan Bilzerian on. Yeah, he agreed to do an episode when I'm back in July or August. And Bradley so. Martin, that's pretty fucking. Yeah, there's on. a few other good names and stuff out there. They're all pretty keen. Like we got Mike Goldman. I won't, coming I won't on. give away too much because I'm going to leave a few other guests as surprises when I'm out there. And a few, a few athletes and a few UFC people and stuff. So can I come on it? Yep. We got Mike Goldman coming on. Remember Mike Goldman from Big Brother? <laughs> he's coming on ours. When? I he's don't know. We had to reschedule. Yeah. It was he's coming on though. So weird. I watched him as a child and now he's going to be next to me. You should tell him that. I'm going yeah, we, to. Oh, yeah. We'll fucking let him But know. don't look him in the eye when you tell him. No, be no, real no. nervous. Complete so shame. Complete shame. Be very nervous. <laughs> yeah, the Empire State was cool. It tell was... me something else about that. <laughs> it's a really strange interview. <laughs> a bit more specific. <laughs> so another story from New York. <clears throat> Did you party a lot? Any party stories? Man, I was I was on one. The f so like long. Story yeah, when you short, first got there without locking shit, you. I can like I can try to I can try to break down the trip. You're really having quick. a fucking good bender, yeah. Great bender. Yeah. I'll break down the trip as quickly as I possibly can. The plan was I flew out to attend Coachella. I had no notice. It was like three days notice before Coachella. A girl I know, just a friend of mine. She's like, "Do you want to come?" You had sex with her. I did a lot, a lot of sex, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> she's like, "Do you want to come to Coachella? I'll buy your uh, artist passport." She spent like four, four or five grand on a. Uh, my ticket for me. What the fuck? Is she rich? Wait, is she rich? Very rich. Okay, so and, and she's she's fucking hot too, but she's just like a shitty person. So it was hard. To, it was hard to hard to be around after a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna mention names. You know what I mean? She was cool, but like just. Meh. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> yeah, she paid for everything, and I was just like, well, I'm not used to this, and it was kind of fun because she was hot, and we fucked a lot. All she did before I got there was like, no man can handle me. No one's like, everyone gets over how high my sex drive is. No one fucks me good enough. No one does this. And I was like, cool, challenge accepted. So I landed, popped a Viagra, obviously didn't say anything to her. Got there and just 
fucked like crazy and just kept fucking. And then she was Did like, you OnlyFans it or just for fuck? Like, nah, like, we were going to like just see the vibes and hang out and stuff because I haven't really done OnlyFans in ages, you know? Yeah, so okay. if I was going to do it, I would have done it with her. Like that was kind of originally we're like, let's just see if, if we want to, we will. She makes like probably half a mil a month on OnlyFans. Did you tell your lover? fucking love crazy, dude. Half a million a month. And nah, she was, I knew for a fact I'd never be able to date a girl like so that. Didn't so say I was you just hanging out with friends. Nope. And okay. um, we went to Coachella together after a few days. We drove up in a, uh, we had like a Lambo Urus. We drove up, we fucked on the freeway in that. Just driving around the it's bay. Dangerous, mate. Did you pull over it's or were you dangerous, driving? Mate. Bit of both. And um, <laughs> fucked in the Five Guys toilets, which was funny. I got Did a you five guys? guys? Did you kiss her with time? Joint. Yeah, lots, lots of cool. kissing. And then went to the festival, got really drunk, and she like didn't like. How do you? How do you? People. How do you get? How do you? How does that come up in conversation when you're at a restaurant? Like, oh, should we? Do you just say, hey? It wasn't a restaurant. Sex? It was like a McDonald's almost. Yeah, five yeah. Guys. Like, yeah. So I just said, do you want to go fuck in the bathroom? Like I was, my um, dick was still hard from all the Viagra. So I was like, it wasn't, wasn't Viagra. It was Cialis. Same, same shit. Yeah. And what, what what happened? What was the point when something went wrong? She didn't like. Well, we went to Coachella together, and um, a few things happened at Coachella on the day. Not between me and her, but it's just like a wild day. You know, it's like when we all drink, we're all a bit wild. Especially in, in America, America, like they don't really drink very good. Like they don't. They have like two they shots. Shit. They have two shots, and oh. like yeah, we're fucking left. What's like the point, cunt? Yeah, it's like I like to get fucked up, like proper fucked up. I was harmless. I had a good day, and then the next day she's like, oh, I just I can't be around drunk people. Blah blah. blah. She was must have been high or something. I don't know. And then. I was like, cool, let's just not go together. And then <clears throat> I was like, fuck. I was like, what should I do now? I'm all the way over here. I've got the pass, but I'm not going to go like and just chill. <clears throat> so I was like, fuck it. I'll just look at flights. I might just head back to Oz. Well, you said go <clears throat> fuck like it's Coachella. No, I know that. I was going to still go, but I was like, it was day two. And I was like, fuck, should I just go back to Oz? Just get, because I was in such a good routine. I was so happy. I was training every day, boxing. Everything was great. I was making content again. Everything was flowing smooth. So like, fuck, I'll just go home. Got a good foundation. Things are good. But then I was like, fuck it. Pulled out my phone and one of my childhood best friends who I actually used to make videos with very long time ago, he was there and he's like, yo, I saw you at Coachella. Do you want to come with me? What are the chances? Very small, like 0 0.08. Yeah, and then he just worked it out. I, um, <clears throat> he was there with a bunch of my like <laughs> friends I grew up with in my hometown and stuff like that. So I was like, fuck it, why not? I went to their Airbnb. Did you sleep with him? Mm -hmm. And then I went to the uh, festival with them, had the fucking greatest day ever. And I was like, what are you, what's your guys' plans? What are you even doing in America? I didn't even know that they were there. And because some of them don't even have like use social media, it's just like meh. And then the guy going to New York from here, I was like, oh fuck, I haven't been to New York. It's like a bucket list place for me. So I booked a flight when I was drunk, and then I ended up going with them to New York. And we had the greatest time ever. And then I followed them to New Orleans for their last night. They had one night left, and they went to New Orleans. I went there, and then I met like a super fan in the street who was working with big snakes and shit. He gave me so much coke for free. Oh, and he was like, if you need anything while you're in New fucking Orleans, fucking snake handler <clears throat> with coke. Yeah, he's like, you need anything in New Orleans? Hit me up. And the next day I hit him up, picked me up in like a cool big Suburban, like Escalades, got a whole bunch of cars. He drove around. He took me to like an airboat tour and looked at like alligators and shit. Wow. Went oh, shooting. that's right. We went that's shooting right. like the craziest guns I've ever seen with this guy. His name's Black Rambo on Instagram. He's fucking hilarious. Where'd you go, shooting yeah. range or just a school? It was in his, ba in his backyard and in school, yeah. <laughs> was Tony Hawk there? Yep. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and we went shooting, shot like some crazy guns and then, yeah. What's she? <laughs> Marty made a joke. Oh. Man, well, look. <laughs> then I went to Stagecoach, country music festival with oh, different friends. Oh, you know, the same grounds as Coachella. It was still set up. Everything. It was the exact same place, Palm Springs. They so leave you're it. just doing this? You're going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then <clears throat> after... Remember the... I tell you, I was talking like that German, Swiss, whatever she is, girl. Mm -hmm. Ages ago. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I don't think they I lived remember. lived in Dubai. Is this the one you wanted to marry? <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I wanted to marry her, but she was just a girl I'm friends with talking to him. She messaged me at 4 a.m. on the last day of Coachella. I didn't know she was in America. I thought she was in Europe. And she's like, oh, hey, yes, so you're at Coachella. What are you up to? So I went and picked her up. I drove and picked her up. She was staying two miles from where I was staying. We just chilled on the couch talking and shit. Then we drove back to LA together the next... Man, it was, a, it was yeah, an adventure. You had sex with her on the highway. It was an adventure. <laughs> and then you started fucking making content in New York. Made a lot of content in New York. The Cookie Monster. Oh, oh, Spider-Man. Monster, yeah. Had a great time. And then I went to yeah, the country festival and then I went back to LA and then the boys flew out to New York and met me in New York. They went to meet me in LA, but they surprised me in New York. So that was kind of cool. Wow. Yeah, that was Fuck nice. Man. Did you party with Scott and Lockie? At no, all? not really. It was kind of, it wasn't really the vibe of like, I don't know. I was there with all the other boys drinking like a lot before they came out. Newcastle. And you know, like me and Lockie, we'd, like Lockie likes to smoke weed and shit. So we're just smoking and that. And Scott doesn't really drink as it is. So wasn't really the vibe of partying and going hard. Dude, you should you know? have forced him to do it. I would have been keen. I would have loved. I should have really forced him. And, uh, Anything. What? Well, so the best part of everything of your whole life is 
uh, the fact that things didn't work out and go according to plan with that girl that led me to my childhood friends that I love to be around because they remind me of so much of my good times for my childhood and what made me get into making videos and it made me fall back in love with making content again because now I'm super fucking happy, super motivated, super super driven, got so much cool content backed up ready to go that I think people are going to really enjoy. Found my roots again and it was just amazing out with people from my hometown that I have such good memories with. Don't care about social media. We just were in the moment, did touristy shit, saw all of America that I haven't seen like before, just lived in each day by day, was present in the moment, wasn't using my phone much, just... It was an eye-opening trip and the greatest trip I've ever done. Uh -huh. So it was shit. Well, make sure you hit up Vanuatu. Nope. I've been. Fuck. Jackson me. and O'Doherty. Jackson O'Doherty. Jackson and O'Doherty. <laughs> <laughs> it's two people. Look at this. It's two people. All right, that was fucking... So you had... How long was it? Three months? Five months? A year? About six or seven weeks. Yeah, okay. you were gone for a while, eh? That's how you know he's having a good time. Mm -hmm. Fucks off for a while. Man, the first few weeks, I just was fucking on one. I was just drinking, just on everything. It was great. <laughs> Fun time. <laughs> and I felt great the whole time, probably because I was- Any come down? Not one. Wow. No one stage of that whole trip did I feel like shit. Dude, not once. You are, man, if I did that, I would be fucking suicidal <clears> for You just got to get months. lots of IV drips. Yeah, well, uh, we've uh, messaged the IV place. They're going to come, start coming in every couple of you Fridays. You can get a whole bunch of cool shit that just literally like counters everything. They're expensive, but they're worth it. If you've got the money to do it, do it. Okay. Well, I won't do it. Michael. I don't have the money. Did you collect anything? I've got a board bucket. Okay. A bullet? No, I bought back a load of shit. I bought oh. back so many cool souvenirs. Yeah, did I get any? Did you buy me a treat? I have gifts for everyone. I have Marty's wedding gift. I have gifts for Matt. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. It's a pocket pussy of my sister. <laughs> oh, <Like> another one. <laughs> I reckon, oh, wow. How is Isla? Who? Oh. <laughs> Your sister, Jack. She's good. Has she been talking about Matt Brown at all? She brought Matt up uh, just before I went away. I haven't really spoken to her much since I've been back, but I mean, before I went away, she used to talk about Matt a little bit. They hung. They went on a date in Kangaroo lie. Point. It's a lie. I've never gone on a date with Isla. Matt's been noticing that she's been looking after herself. She looks good. She's always looked good. Matt. <gasps> he really, he, he's, yeah. That's why he's wearing what he's wearing today. He's trying to impress her. She, oh, he, I'm trying to impress you. Cause. Matt knows that my sister's going to be watching. Yeah. I've told her she should just fucking swallow a few of yours, to be honest. I actually... <laughs> <laughs> I, I sent her I actually sent her a thing saying Jackson's coming on the podcast today what should I ask him but she didn't get back to me in time I'll scold her for that yeah. it's, it not, was, it's not domestic it last, violence no, when it's your si sibling it was last uh, minute it law. wasn't her fault it I wasn't haven't her heard fault. that but um yeah yeah the laws change if you're, if you're related <laughs> gender isn't a thing what's this brother brother sister love what are you talking about cunt? it's only half though anyway so it's not really real <laughs> Oh my god, man! This is fucking wild, shit, baby. <laughs> what I just had a memory of is that fucking website video of Julian and Jackson dinner date. <laughs> Jackson at the beginning of the date saying, "You fucking shouldn't have." <laughs> yeah, flowers. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, yeah, well, oh, like, oh you well, you fucking was, shouldn't have. I was trying my hardest to get my head around what you were talking about. Then is that when you remember, were vomiting on the plate? Yeah, do you remember at the end of that video? We we're all standing outside, like, "Oh, I don't know if we can pose this," and then you just appear. Covered in water, you just had a shower. Did I? <laughs> just walked straight out to us. <laughs> I needed it. That was to grow, to smell. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, it's one of the ones. Yeah, Wasn't the one there poo on the ground? Like two weeks ago. Yeah, and on his face. <laughs> yeah, use it everywhere. Axe. It's disgusting. You smeared it on his face. You shaved oh, your shaving. face. Yeah, it was shaving. Man, I'd be very ashamed if I did that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just wanted to sh <laughs> oh, shave, not shave. The older I get, the more I'd regret that. <laughs> no. I'd be so ashamed. I'd think about it. Restaurant <laughs> slash uh, barber. I remember Julian saying something something and I was like totally agreed with him and now I can't remember what it was something I would never ever be a part of that or something like that I can't remember but it, the poo poo yeah. was just the icing on the cake too much <laughs> it's too no, much I, nothing's too much I'm, I'm I don't know gross stuff's easy I think you handled yeah. it so well and I felt bad dude I'm sorry but it, it gross just, stuff is like yeah, I wish you guys had some wigs that I could have worn today <laughs> do you want some weed no wig I would have worn a wig if you had a wig for me okay Man, what what's another? What's some? I was trying to think of some funny shit that happened when we all lived together. <clears throat> are you gonna cut this? <laughs> what? Or you say this while we're here? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we can cut it if we, if we take too long. To I think need to wait. All right, can't just go to the toilet. All right, guys, we're gonna have a very quick little bong break, and we'll be right back with more Jackson and Matt versus Michael. <laughs>
Uh, and we're back. Guess who hit us up? Probably a lion, but... Roman... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you better say Roman Atwood. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Roman Atwood. He died, man. So sad. Oh, man. I literally... So I put in the group chat last night that I got a hole in one and no one believed me and my friends. It's starting to really... I am the <laughs> yeah. boy who cried wolf. I shot yeah. a gun out of a moving car uh, in America. <laughs> What at? At a bridge. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I saw sick. that. Yeah, the video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just out of it. Did someone go? No way, way, wait. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, turns it. out you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> it's but considered it's CGI. a drive-by. It's CGI. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. mis misunderstood the bridge. Is it enough? I'm not gonna. There well, were there so many people in, the in cars car. around. No, the guy told me to do it. He's like, yeah, you can do whatever you want down here. <laughs> Oh wow, so he just shoot up so his he just like, puts a gun shoot, out of the car window and shoots you, down another car? <laughs> did, you aim, <laughs> did you aim for the oh. water or did you aim for the up? He's aimed up. <laughs> Damn it, I just <laughs> want to share the scent. I don't want to the scent. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> don't distract oh. him with a question. <laughs> Put, you'd be quicker than us then if we were thinking about I'm locked and loaded. Ask us a question just so we can get up and shit. Half my mouth is locked and loaded, ready to go. I'm like a little snake. <laughs> okay, That's did you spit. aim for the water or the sky? There was no water and there was like... No, no sky. sky. I thought you were on a bridge maybe. No, I aimed at another bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I've got it. I'm sure you are. Were there people on the other bridge? I couldn't see through or beneath it. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's fucking crazy, dude. It is pretty you fun. Fucking, well, you probably have <laughs> wounded someone. <laughs> that is cool. You should post it's that. Private, it's private property, if anyone asks. It's, it's private property. It's CGI, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you did some fucking gnarly shit over there. Like some, some shit I just couldn't even talk about on air. Oh my God, dude. You could have killed someone. Probably. Oh, I might have. And we're sitting here having a good laugh about it. Mate, when I got to New Orleans. Zooms through someone's face. Bro, I didn't realize. When I got to New Orleans, like I was walking around at 5 a.m. drunk, just filming crackheads and just trying to wind up a Shoot few junkies them. and stuff. I was smashing bottles at my feet and shit. And I've got a few videos of that. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, I'll show you. And she was That's beautiful. And I didn't realize till towards the end of the trip that you Google it and it's like, is New Orleans safe? So it turns out 98% of the rest of America is safer than New Orleans. It's the murder yeah. capital of, of America. Oh, really? I saw this 100%. too. It's, it's one of the, yeah, the highest. It's, the, it's in the highest 2% uh, town, cities of, of all of America, the highest crime rate, the highest murder percentage. Beat Chicago. Wow. Way higher than Chicago. Yeah, incredible. Holy shit. Yeah. And I was walking around drunk, like just filming crackheads. She had a knife. The girl, a screwdriver, sorry. She, she had a screwdriver that I was filming. I have to know this. I'll show, is... you, I'll show you 10 seconds of it. Oh my God. <laughs> You probably shot her. Um, yeah, I have to know this. Is the map of Tony Hawk's Underground 2 the same? Oh, no. She was gorgeous. Uh, Someone threw a bottle at you then? Well, before I started filming, there was, must have been four or five different bottles that shattered at my feet. Were you wearing this? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh my god, that's insane! I reckon you definitely would have gone murdered. If I was almost gonna that. come here in the um in the suit from your wedding just because I know Michael liked it. I was gonna oh, come. Yeah, it was a good suit. suit. Yeah, but uh, no, the map of Tony Hawk, the New Orleans map, and when Bear Margera went there and Viva La Bam to New Orleans to Mardi Gras, everything looks the same. Oh wow, so very good. New Orleans was exactly the same as the video game. Did they have the ramps? Yep, they had the ramps. They had the cemetery. You could do Nada spins on them. Did you skate? <laughs> yeah, I skated there. I was fucking drunk the first night. The guy that I met, he's just got videos of him just knocking out so many people in the street. What? Because he, he's sober of like three or four years, the dude that oh I met. God. And um, so he works as like a performer almost, and you're right. He charges 20 bucks for photos with these pythons. They're like fucking monstrous pythons, huge. And he does this Segway stuff on the show. Like he'll get 10, $20 tips to pick girls up on a Segway, just whatever. It's, it's called Bourbon Street, the main party. He's huge. He's not a very big guy. He's just a strong dude. And uh, he's a really nice guy, but like a lot of the time, drunk people would just try to fuck with him or touch his snakes without permission or try to trip him off the Segway and that. And he's just got videos of him just knocking people after people <gasps> out cold. So someone gets too close to his snake. Oh, no, he, he, he doesn't out. start them. Like some, someone might just start a fight with him or try to wind him up and he'll just wait. And then usually he'll wait for them to throw one because they're drunk. It's just an easy target. So after they throw one punch, he just flattens them. Wow. wow. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. 
It's pretty funny. Man, it was, it, was a, it was a weird, weird trip. I got out of the fucking boat and was like standing pretty much on top of an alligator. Like, oh. Did you touch one? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> Jackson and Doherty. Fucking LA, go. And yeah, LA was fun. Had a lot of fun in LA as well. <coughs> Lockie did a dab. You know the dab hits from for weed mm -hmm. in Venice Beach. You can. There's just all these little shops now. It's five bucks. You just get a dab hit. They like give you a sterile like little dab rig, and they do it for you, and just inhale the dab. And Lockie did a five dollar dab, and he said he just was fucked. Couldn't like move or talk or think for like an well, hour just, and a half. Oh, so they just really? Oh. No, so they melt the wax on the dab uh, rigs and then they- Dude, they I've seen videos off. of those dudes with massive long, like yeah, 30 yeah, centimeters. Yeah, they're crazy. Dude, I've that's never fucked done one. up. I've Maybe. done one and it fucking sent me to space. It was like doing a hundred yeah, bongs like in one go. Oil, like smoking yeah. weed oil. It was oil. like Hash. doing edibles and like a hundred bongs at once. Oh my God. Stay away from that. Let's do one. Try it. Let's do three throughout the podcast. I'm going to dab rig in my truck. Oh yeah, what about your new car? Yeah, tell us about it. It's like Dude, it's three fucking, cars in one. It literally is a as a smaller monster truck. Yeah. It made my truck look like mini. Well, your truck is small. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like your truck. Thank you. It'd be big enough for you to f I could fit on the back of yours. <laughs> yeah, you could drive on the you back. Put it in the tray. <laughs> Oh man! People are going to be asking you to help them move house now. Yeah, yes. everyone's going to ask you. To I've been move asked house. twice to do lifts on a Saturday night, like people just from clubs, and I was like, oh, I can't. <laughs> There's no room. <laughs> no room. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I used to do five dollar lifts, but not at the moment. Yeah, Uber driving. We should all get back into that, man. Just <laughs> for some extra cash on the weekend. It would be. It was fun. For a normal life job. It was fun when you didn't have to do it for like 16 yeah, hours straight. If you could just do it'd be like- be good for like four hour shifts. Four hour shifts, five days a week and live off that. That's a good life. I think you guys also did it at a time where there wasn't so many like taxes and penalties and things you got to yeah, do. Yeah, now you- Now it's, it's not worth yeah, it. Now you end up making like break. 10 bucks an hour. Yeah, when Because your finish. car fucking costs and devalue and, and, and system fuel. Is Don't forget them. about fuel, Jackson. Mate. Mm. Wear and tear. All kinds of expenses. And if someone throws up in the car- Oh, night over. That happened twice All to me. All had that. Oh my God, I forgot yeah. about that. That happened to you? Yep, twice. Yeah, three times to me. I would have thrown a left jab. But you what, can tell when they're going to throw up. I just I'd wipe it up with a towel and I kept driving. <laughs> it's went down the windows and kept going. Yeah. I, just, I had to get out of an Uber in LA because the fucking dude stunk so fucking bad. I was like, yo, can you pull over? I just, and I got out. <laughs> really? <Do you> remember <laughs> the, I have a memory then of us all in LA together. Oh my God, with, with Kristen, Kristen Hamby. Oh, and that's right. I, who, you. Me, I, we're, in an, <laughs> we're in an Uber. And I know this. We're all just chat, <laughs> chatting and shit. And then I let out this <laughs> massive fart and everyone went silent giggling. And then this driver just fucking sped up. So I got like a hundred <gasps> weaving in, in a, a tiny little traffic, street weaving in and out traffic just so angry and then he slowed down a bit and then a bit more silence and then Kristen just goes did that really just happen? <laughs> <laughs> just start piercing ourselves love it's hilarious because he was in the front seat with him just sort of go whoa <laughs> he was just weaving it's like he was really mad it, and then the no, speed it of it smelled bad it's, <laughs> the he smell just wanted us out and then he got mad he just wanted us out yeah, of the car he wanted to get there oh, far yeah, that, man we had some laughs there didn't man, we do you have any coffee? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> but also, Jim, I just had a memory. Fuck LA was fun. When we had that shit house Airbnb place that would always flood from the sinks and the- Oh, yeah. Like, Mate, mind you, it was like pretty much yeah, had like a views of all of LA. Yeah, and, it was and, and it was, wasn't it worth like millions of dollars? Yeah, like what? a four or five million dollar house. Yeah, it was in crazy. West Hollywood. I it was think. in it West was Hollywood. In, like, it wasn't the Hills Hills, but it was up like a really- and it had a fucking cool spa and a swimming pool. But if we, oh, no, if we just started we pissing in outside into the spa, it became our toilet. It turned By black. the end of the week, <laughs> it had gone like orange. Yeah, it went from dark. Piss. And then how did we? We just put a hose, hose in, in it. Oh, yeah, hey, hose hang it on, hang on. We. I bathed in it. First. Me. I fixed it. Oh, really? <laughs> I put a hose in and turned did it you? on. And oh, I was really? Like, I thought I'll check that in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> and it fully worked. And it worked. <laughs> it just flooded the piss out well, once I, it re well, reached that's, the top. That's just basic physics. I learned that in science. Bunsen yeah. burner, Bunsen burner, beacon. Oh, I didn't beaker. consider that. Oh. You just put it in and let it just keep overflowing and eventually it's just going to be It's going to be fresh water. A filter. Yeah. A filter. Do that for our pool. Yeah, we could try yeah. it. Oh man, that was it, man. fun. That was some fun times. Yeah, that was fucking good. Scooters. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh, what else happened in LA? <laughs> then once they left, we went to some hotel motel crackdown. Oh yeah, we went to the <laughs> we just shitters place. I think I went and saw it quickly before I left. I think I went to that little hotel. It was like a motel though. 
it's a motel <laughs> with <laughs> one bed and then like we just put all that shit there and then just fucking yeah. it just became a yeah man that was like it's crazy to think we all were in LA together oh man it's crazy we've been in LA together we've been in England together Fuck. And, and Pepperina Place Pepperina Place yeah wow and Church Road you were there for <laughs> remember you were there for a I got, I got mine in. It's so wet. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine in proper then. <laughs> this sounds so fucking close to me when you do it. <laughs> I'm trying to spread the scent. Are you guys getting it? Julian's yeah. having fun. No, I've got fucking a cold. I can't smell shit. Oh, well, I want Jackson. Really? I want the guest. Do you reckon you've actually got COVID? A nest. Well, mum had it at the wedding. Oh. But I didn't start feeling sick till last Thursday. <sighs> Surprised I didn't catch it. I have to give it a kiss. <laughs> Jackson <laughs> Oh homie Look, She's so German oh, no. You didn't expect her to be so German did you Yeah I did You said they were both German Yeah <laughs> <laughs> That was a great night That was one of the coolest weddings I'm I'm not gonna lie Thank you dude Sorry <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. No, that was a very beautiful evening, the wedding. It was very, very. Yeah. Very off topic to what this podcast is normally about, which is just crazy fucked up shit. But that was a beautiful wedding. I can't believe you shot out of a window. At <laughs> a bridge, dude. You got a ticket off the bucket list. <laughs> oh my God. Shoot at bridge on his bucket list? <laughs> Shoot at a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can cross that oh, one off. Oh, I hope that's written so. Oh, it's definitely just a real fucking weird bucket list. Definitely a felony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Let's move along. All right. I was just, he was kept. He just pulled over anyway. We'll just shoot. He just pull over and we would just shoot. Oh. Oh. And cars, man. Like even at this, this one's pretty funny. I have to show you a quick brief bit. Where is it? It's man. so ridiculous. That bit. That was like just off the main road. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> she just she she a little up. dance. <laughs> oh god! Man, and then I ended up in a bathroom fucking. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a boy. Who was that? I just I don't know. Dude, New Orleans. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, uh, J Jackson, you can sit in on this. We're going to have a little Matt. Just let me know when you come back. Versus Michael. No, push the button, Matty. Here we go. Watch this, Jackson. This will blow your mind. It's currently 10 6 or 10 5. First Michael, it's Matt. First Michael, it's Matt. First Michael today. Matt, first Michael, it's Matt. First Michael, it's Matt. Matt first Michael today. Yay. Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, who wants to come? Come have fun. Come have fun. Oh. Today. Bottle of cum. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it is currently 10 6 in our esteemed Matt vs. Michael segment where Matt and Michael go head to head every week, and the winner at the end of the season gets nothing but a bottle of glory mints. 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 It is mints. What's the score? It is 10 6 right Ooh. now. 10 6 to Michael. 10, Matt is distracted by porn. Look at that. Look at his distracted face. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Her tongue that. was in my gut. Her tongue was in my gut. Sorry, oh. I'll, I'll get back on track. <laughs> and today, what are we doing? <laughs> we find out who's better at geography. Oh, <clears throat> easy! Oh my god! Oh no! Are you confident with this? I fucking guarantee. All he knows is. You Mongolia. To, you don't have to be nasty, mate. Yeah. I thought That's Matt's so travelled a fair bit. Can too. I help Matt? Can no, I help no, him? No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll I'm it. very, very good at geography and history. Yeah, no, I think you stay out of it. It's me versus Matt. Yeah, no, you just said he was not good, so I'm going to help him. No, Michael Quit. has a point. If you were to help Michael, I'd be very upset. Scissors, paper, rock. Yes. Sorry. All right. Michael, do you want to go first? Definitely, yes. Michael, what's the capital city of Canada? Vancouver. Sorry, I, I'm going to shut my mouth. It's not Vancouver. Vancouver. <laughs> Incorrect. It's Matthew, Toronto. it goes to you. It goes to you. If I, it, it's hard. because How the like, fuck is it not Vancouver? Toronto. Yeah, I'll see. I was thinking that, but I don't think it is. It's actually Oslo. I'd say Oslo if I was you. I was going to go Quebec. No. Quebec? The answer is Ottawa. 
Ottawa. I said fucking that. Ottawa. Ottawa. Fucking Ottawa. Fucking Ottawa. Fucking Ottawa. Fucking Ottawa. Don't trust me. Fucking who? What Ottawa? I said Oslo. Same thing. Don't trust Oslo. Oslo's in Norway, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Don't, trust, don't, don't trust anything. Question number two, Matthew, coming for you. Thank you. What continent is Brazil in? Brazil. In. What continent is Brazil in? South America? That is That so is correct. Easy. That is the That easy. is correct. Matty's up 1-0. If you don't nil. know that, you sh- stupid. Matty's up 1-0. Name the capital cities of Australia, Michael. All of them. Perth. <coughs> Fuck. Is there a time limit on this? Adelaide. No. Melbourne. Tasmania. Sydney. Brisbane. You're missing. Canberra. <laughs> yeah. One more. Oh my God. Darwin. Got it. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> Is it Tasmania? Oh, oh, it's a state. It's a state, you Dude, fucking idiot. You're looking oh, no. for Hobart, my boy. Oh, no, this is not uh, good. Uh, now it's 2-1, oh, two, two, no, Now it's Matt stupid. gets a crack at it. Okay, everyone be silent. You all the go. capital cities of all the states and territories. Yes. All right, so Brisbane, Queensland, Sydney, New South Wales, Canberra, ACT, Hobart, Tasmania, uh, Adelaide, South Australia, Perth, Western Australia. Canberra. I He's missing that. one weight. He's got it. How long has he got? And Darwin, Northern Territory. Fuck! God, you're good. Yeah, How'd you know right. that? Because it's two, our own country. 2 Sorry. 0 to the Brown. All right, uh, Michael, your turn. Oh, no. Okay. Name a country beginning with Z. Zim- Zimbabwe. Oh. oh. I didn't say anything then. Oh, <laughs> you can't. I'm sorry. All right, 2 1, Matt. Capital of Denmark. Um, you'll get, you'll get oh, fuck. Ha! I know it, hang dickhead. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. A uh, couple of Denmark. <laughs> hey, can he be quiet? Cause I'm trying to think. I know it. Um, <laughs> he to he's got to be a time. <laughs> can he be quiet? Ten seconds of hush time. <laughs> yeah, I know you got time with your. Can he be? Can he be? Can he be time? Denmark. Well, there will be a limit eventually, though, Matthew. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you fool! Fuck. It's too all. The chickens have Don't, come no, to no, roost. Don't no, no, quickly! You can't say it, dude. I'm he not. did give you Zimbabwe. It's only fair. <laughs> Um, it's uh, it's look. Ha ha. Coupon. <laughs> oh, um, shut up! You shut up. <laughs> it's c- no, you yeah, can't. Okay. It okay. rhymes with Copenhagen. Right. Copenhagen. Oh. Right. Oh, that's too all. Holy <laughs> fuck! I was not prepared for this. This is crazy. I haven't got another question written, so I'm just gonna make one up. All right. Let me get my fucking Google. Jackson who goes first? Like, at what, oh, who had- went first just then? Oh, he did. So you go first. Oh, now. I've won. Oh my god. I can't believe I fucking uh, won. <laughs> I've got a good question, and the winner gets a kiss. What year? Not for Marty, because Marty would know. What year did Adolf Hitler die? <laughs> I would know that. Nineteen thirty-nine. No, no. It'd be like, I'll tell you. Nineteen forty-four. Whoa, that is so warm. Like fuck. Like pissing the bed warm. Michael, what is the capital of Switzerland? Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh shit. I know it. Oh my yeah. god. Don't you dare. <gasps> Is it Oslo? Oh fuck. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh wait, wait. No. It's rhymes. It's as simple as something that nobody knows. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I've been there too. Have we been there? Can I help him? No, can I help him? Oh, I got, I, I, no, 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 this really isn't it, but I'm gonna up. say Venice. Incorrect, Matthew. Stockholm? What is Austria, you fucking? Incorrect. Oh, fuck. Incorrect. The correct answer is Bern. Oh fuck! No one knows that. Many. It even says many people surprised when they hear that they, the that Bern is the capital. Yeah, I didn't know. That Let's go back. Let's go back. Fifteen seconds. He said Venice. That's in Austria. Yeah, I, know. I thought they were it's the in, same country. Venice is. Sorry. Sorry. All right, Matt. This goes to you now. Mm. Oh shit. Matthew, name all the continents in the world. World, world. <laughs> oh, this is hard too. Can yeah. I have a shout out? <laughs> <laughs> um, South America. Mm-hmm. North there's, America. There's mm-hmm. Seven in total. Australia. Um, oh, yeah. Switzerland. Is that one? No. Switzerland? No. No, the Australian one. Yeah, yeah. Hesitated. It's called something else, but I get what you're oh, saying. Okay. Um, yeah, Africa. <laughs> Europe and Asia. That's five. Uh, Japan. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Middle East. Right. It is okay. It's, it's you've got Africa. Yep. You've got Asia. Mm-hmm. You've got Australia. Mm-hmm. You've got South America. Yep. North America. Yep. Holy fuck. Yeah, it got hard. To Antarctica. Yep. 
There's I don't remember the other one that you said. Europe? Europe. Yeah, you got it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you did get it, I think. Fuck. One Asia, Europe, North America, Africa, South America, Antarctica, and Australia slash Oceania. Wow, I would have got like ninety percent in this. Eleven six. Holy All shit. Right, eleven what? six. Was Michael moves on. Yep. Was, yeah. it, was it seven? I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> no, no. The overall score. I wasn't expecting those type of geography friends. I thought you'd go more like like countries starting with like C oh. or something. Oh like. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look, I'm high. It's right. oh. hard. My head was getting hot. Oh, All man. right. Oh, Let's have lovely. a go. Oh, Everyone. that sucks. It's time for Matthew's Tinder adventures. Fucking hit it, Matt. Did you have Tinder? No, T-I-N-D-O We have Matt's Tinder Ha 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 Matthew Brown has lost control Now these women will lose their souls Alright Now this is a segment where we Have taken over Matthew Brown's fucking Tinder And we do the conversations As we think that he would talk to them Wow So this is how, exactly how we think And we're trying to find him a girl And these are the conversations You're going well Matthew I am not going well Nothing is working I have weird people You lied to us about having sex on Friday night I did not lie to you Alright here we go Let's get into this I have no way to prove it to you But I swear my life Show us your dick I can prove it I know how to prove it Pass me your wrist And your palm Ready Say say you didn't or you did So tell him him if you did or didn't have sex I didn't have sex Is he lying? Tell him the truth Alright you fingered her I didn't. I was on alone. The arcade. You looked at it in the shower. Did you finger it? I was alone all weekend. All right, let's move on. So now now the pulse has sped up. Oh, sorry. Michael did come over and play some Fortnite. Okay, see, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You did finger it. <laughs> Very good. All, all right, right, here we go. <clears throat> so Matt starts the conversation here with this young, pretty lady. Drown me. <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe I just said that. And what's your preferred method of drowning? Uh, fresh water preferably and maybe like tied up and gently lowered into a running fresh water stream I also want soft jazz playing and I want someone's hand touching me so I don't feel alone as I inhale water but that's if I could choose I don't exactly expect it to be that perfect when it happens (laughs) but that's the dream what about you how do you want to drown and she hasn't replied yet (laughs) <laughs> Imagine if I pushed you into a lake or some shit. How are you, tit swing? Haha, <laughs> good. Did you end up imagining me pushing you into a lake or let me know what you think? My skin is so salty I'm losing my temper. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't replied. I should have just dated her. So Matt Isla starts a conversation a here. Stay away from my family. And she didn't reply. It was a few <laughs> days ago, so I wrote again. <laughs> I've written again. You've been you've been taking her mail again. This is your last warning. Oh, and she still hasn't replied. <laughs> All right, another conversation here. Collect samples. Samples? Yeah, it's one of my hobbies. What about you? Do you collect anything? And that was like <clears throat> like a month ago, and then again replied today. How come you never got back to me? I know I don't usually care if you don't collect samples, and she hasn't replied to that yet. Oh my god. <clears throat> Bring me up to speed. How many guys you've been with? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one, it was promising because she messaged first. And you destroyed it. Hey, Matt, how are you going? <clears throat> Just did a nang. <laughs> I dropped my phone in a fresh mound of human shit in the outhouse on the weekend. Draw on my back with a permanent marker. How was your long weekend and whatnot? Oh, sounds like fun. Oh, I've, I've had a great weekend, thanks. Caught up with some friends and just chilled. It was really nice. Haha, <laughs> it was fun until I had to dig my phone out with two long sticks. I've never smelled such smells before, hey. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thanks for opening up. No point in crying over milk that spilled over the ground and shit. <laughs> oh, no. Um, she didn't write back to that. No. All right, this girl's called Robin. It's important because of your opening joke with her. Batman and Robin. How's Batman? <laughs> Sorry, you probably get that all the fucking time. I'm a steel worker. Very labor intensive. Where are you right now? Oh, uh, hey, not for, not for a while, lol. <laughs> look where I... Look, like, where am I right now? At the doctor's. Oh, no way. Is everything okay? I've done my first aid course, so if you need to, need me to help, let me know. <laughs> I'm fine. My f- it, I'm first aid too, so can look after myself. I'm in Deception Bay. I'm always a bit suspicious of Deception Bay. Just seems a bit like deceptive. I've been stretching my neck for a few years and now I can almost turn my head a full 180 degrees. <laughs> I did it in public last week and a woman fully freaked out. 
<laughs> you know how birds can twist their head? Yeah, sorry, you lost. I got lost. <laughs> no, on it's one. good. I, got, oh, I was visualizing it. it. I okay, was visualizing I it. <clears throat> I liked it. I see a future with you, Vic. Can you? That's great insight you have, Matt. I'm closing my eyes and passing my energy through the phone to you. Can you feel it? I felt it when I started typing. It was so weird. That's some heavy mystic shit you got going on there, Matt. <laughs> the cosmic force must be totally running through your veins. I'm not usually so spiritual straight away. I don't know. I know it sounds dumb, but I just had a feeling when I looked into your eyes and your pic. I went to a psychic on the weekend too, and you wouldn't believe what if I, if I told you what she said. Gonna hit me with it. What did she say? <clears throat> She said, I'm going to have financial hardship for most of my life and that around <laughs> in around five years, I'll hit some really difficult health issues and my first child will be a stillborn. But she also said that I'll find my first love this year. <laughs> She's going to fucking want to be with me. <laughs> Did she reply? Yeah, yeah, she did. <laughs> Not sure all the first bit will outweigh the love bit, but you've got a, but you've got the love bit. Then I guess anything's possible, right? Love wins for the day for you. What was her name? Yeah, I was a bit too, <laughs> taken aback with the other stuff. <laughs> Never had such an honest psychic before. Her name is Kelly Marie, one of the best and most accurate psychics in the world. <laughs> she even predicted the floods a few years back. It was hectic as shit. Have you done that or some shit? <laughs> yeah, she certainly was honest, Matt. Yeah, those floods were massively hectic. Yep, yeah, I went to one not that long ago in Barn. Oh, no way. Holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? You've actually been to one? What happened? Like, what did she say exactly? Any bad news? <laughs> Let's do for late. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, no, it wasn't that bad, but the last seven years have been pretty bad, so I'm glad it wasn't bad. Huge transitions, new beginnings. Oh, lol, Solly, I probably sound super excited. I've just recently gotten into, into them heaps, and then when I got that bad news about the stillborn and shit, I was kind of confused because I'd never heard of anyone getting bad news like that before. So I'm just curious to see if I'm the only one I know that got the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> That's an ongoing conversation. She doesn't reply to that. Dude, that, that makes sure you keep following that up. Oh, I lost you again. You guys I, laugh through it. I, I keep getting fucking, lost. Oh, dude, I loved it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. I can't help it. I just picture you saying these things and it brings me to my knees, cunt. <laughs> she's if she's going to find you. So she has her first kid with you. It's not going to be heaps breathing. Of, heaps of financial hard. She's going to die in a few years. <laughs> Oh my god, it hurt. You having All a good time? Right. Oh. I just if you have a time lapse, I stared at him for about six minutes. <laughs> my spirit animal is a powerful owl. You should that should tell you a lot about my personality. I'm a bit of an alpha. You keen? I have a feeling that would have me in stitches with laughter. And while I'm keen, I just don't think I can help make it happen, sadly. What do you mean that you would, uh, that would have you in stitches? Have you seen the owls I'm talking about? They're fucking massive. They're like one meter tall and they eat sheep and shit. Look them up and then get back to me. I bet you'll change your mind. And she hasn't gone back to me. Sorry. Is this under his actual name? Yeah, yeah. This is his entire profile. This is um, Matt Brown's pictures. Amazing. He's going to get done for harassment. It's Probably. Been, no, it's look, it's, it's going quite it's well. It's all very like progressive stuff. I've snorted deep heat. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of uh, <laughs> Tinder Adventures. <laughs> that video showing us. You're about 50. Jackson and O'Doherty. Thanks for Let coming me, on, Jack. I fucking what, any. What do you want to tell them? All I would like to say is, uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let me let me tell you something. There's a few good videos in the works. Yeah, you said you were happy walking around. Wa uh, went around Wall Street in a nice suit, and uh, just fucked around. I was dropping big, massive dead fish out of my briefcase on the subway, and everyone was freaking out. But they oh, wow. stunk. I walked around and uh, just made a complete goof of myself. I was just a full public nuisance, and it's the first time in a while I've been a public nuisance, and I quite enjoyed it. Did um, you? Where are you going to post it all? Probably on Facebook. Uh, probably. On <laughs> she said I'm not going to post. <laughs> There's a chance that most of it won't get posted. <laughs> I probably have enough content to post two to three new videos a week for like a year that I've just never really gotten around to posting. Wow, dude, Sorry. you should do that. Then I don't yeah. know what to do. Post it. Yeah, but how? 
<laughs> it is confusing okay. these days. Hey? It's so hard when you got to think about like global warming and artificial intelligence. intelligence. Mm. What does Isla think? Man, honestly, if you want a free uh, trial to her OnlyFans, I could hook you up, but I want you to pay me the monthly sub. So it's the same as something to her, but I get the money. Uh-huh. Anyways, I appreciate you guys having me. It's been awesome to be back. For anyone watching, I've got new podcasts coming that you probably don't care. I wouldn't watch them. <laughs> Shit. And uh, that's that's how I promote myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson and Doherty. Jackson and Doherty, everybody. I don't have a middle name, so that makes sense. Uh, oh. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Bong break, everyone. Bong break. Jackson tears his <laughs> ball bag on our podcast. <laughs> yeah, that is a good thumbnail. We have questions from your answers. Your questions are all our answers, and the answers from your questions from the questions and your answers. These are answers for your questions, and these answers for your questions, and the questions and your answers. These are answers from your questions to me. Sorry. Okay. What are you cranky about? (laughs) Can't you hear my recliners? No, I can't hear it. It's that racket, that fucking racket. Oh, the sound. No, it's fine. All right, if you, you made that. You, if Sorry. you want us to answer your questions, comment on the Mighty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So after you've commented your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer, Matt. First question, question is from, from Peter, Peter Hunt. Hunt. Um, have you started planning for the live podcast yet? Yep. Had a chat to, with James today about it. And uh, we've got two different venues we're going to choose from. And we'll be making that decision soon. Yeah, I think it's going to seat like, what, 400, 300? Yeah, more, definitely more than last year. Hmm. So, Matt, it's going to be a fucking Do you freak come? show. Imagine Matt in front of like a thousand people. A thousand oh. screaming people. I thought I did oh, Master. I, we, <laughs> yeah, you did do okay. good, mate. We you have to do good. a Brown versus Michael. It's just very like shocking. Even What about us? like a... Oh, like a dance. We have to do like a dance routine for Matt versus Michael. Yeah, oh, I an, really Irish, an Irish jig. Nah, because he's good at Irish jig. Dude, it would be so funny to see Matt tap dance. Oh, Matt. <laughs> I don't know if I can tap dance. That's, is, that's hard to do, isn't it? If tap, we, if like I got proper tap shoes if we on, paid yeah. for you three lessons, would you do it? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to talk about what we want to do for that. It'll be hard on the joints, I reckon, tap yeah. dancing, because you'd have to be real floppy and shit with your heels and fucking ankles and shit. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> to talk about Matt's dance. Next question is from Milking Stool Patrick. Um, can we have Arnold Fine as a guest on the podcast once? I guess they could come on for interviews. We keep saying no. He definitely wants to come on. Sorry, Matt. What happened then? <laughs> what? What? You got to keep up. Sorry. Next question is from Amy Jones. Um, Marty, your top three moments of your big day. Um, The vows were good. The fucking um, the speeches were very, very good. And um, yeah, the, the celebrating with everyone after was fucking good. Do you remember the golly I had? Do you remember the nose golly up on that, up on the roof? Oh yeah! Oh man! I got my right. fingers on it. Do you remember? Oh, that's oh right. fuck! We had the it. videographer and photographer. Oh Jashan. yeah, we did too. Jashan's Jashan's fine, but <laughs> fuck. <laughs> some fucking wild photos. Oh yeah. Have you seen them yet? <laughs> no, no, they got to get edited. I think we get them in like two weeks or something. Oh, that's cool. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. And the videographer video. Yeah, that'll be slowly. I want to see Michael's table dance. Do you remember the table dance he did for the video? No. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, next question is from <laughs> Dylan B. Um, Matt, do you go to the movies by yourself? You look like the type of guy that does. <laughs> Did they get lots of likes? I got a few. <laughs> um, uh, no, but I have been once before on my own. Um, and uh, yeah, it was pretty depressing. <laughs> do, I I, yeah, fuck. I don't know if... You've never been in the movies alone? 
I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I have. I got given... But I think I would still go if I really wanted to watch a movie. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I got given five free tickets to Cineplex here in Brisbane and I used four of them and I had one spare and then I remember I didn't have to go to school, like, uh, sorry, not school, like uni one day and um, I just went and saw a movie. I have a secret to reveal. Oh, no. You've done it too. When I was 13, moved up to Brisbane, had to spend the Christmas holidays with no friends up here. So I'd go to the cinemas and watch movies by myself. I saw Peter Pan. Yeah, wow. Another f- fun fact about cinemas, when I was like 19 once, I was in a bar that didn't have a toilet and <laughs> I went for a walk to try and find a public toilet. Oh. Couldn't find it. Walked into the cinema thinking, fuck, they'll have one here. Was so hammered I could not find the toilet. So I was like, fuck it. Ducked into one of the cinemas and just started empty cinemas <laughs> and just started pissing. And halfway through my piss, one of the cleaners walks up the fucking alleyway and, and sees me. And she's like, what are you fucking? So it's just me and him alone. <laughs> and I'm pissing in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I you called And then me. I was like, because I had two options. I could have fucking legged it and, and avoided him. Or I could have just come clean and like, look, dude, I'm absolutely hammered. And I'm really sorry about this. And I chose option B. I was like, look, man, I'm real sorry. Go get me a fucking bucket. I'll clean this. Did and you then, clean it? No, he said he got the bucket, but then he's like, oh, don't worry about it. Get don't out. worry about it. Get then, out. So you then, became friends, sort of. Yeah, and that's not even the good bit. As I was leaving, the co- someone had, he must have called the cops before I befriended him. And um, the, as the cops had my description, uh, after he just told me to go away, he's like, oh, it's all right, I'll clean it. So I'm like, fuck yeah, I got away with it. And then the cops walk in my direction. And I fit the description of the person they're looking for. They pull me back into the oh. cinema. And then he goes, um, the cops took me outside and were like, look, you're really lucky he's not pressing charges. Oh, <laughs> so you, wow, good people skills. You can piss where you stand and then tell them, look, like, I'm sorry, but it, just don't <laughs> arrest me. Yeah, I was just really apologetic. And I was That's like, very good. I remember, yeah, you called and told me about it. That so was, I got my piss off. Wow. Man, I have memories of Marty. <laughs> remember when we just spent that day with Austin and Jay? And you were just standing wherever you were on the golf course and you just <laughs> start screaming, I piss where I stand. Yeah, It'd be like true. on the green, like <laughs> in the hole, or like just facing people teeing off in the hole, like next to oh, us. <laughs> we just like in stitches. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to piss every now and then. And just you'd piss wherever you stood, whenever you wanted. It was very nice. I enjoyed it. Oh, man, oh. I fully forgot about that, eh? It was stoned as fuck. It was stoned Sundays. Yeah, that was good time. <laughs> it was stoned. Oh, golf. Anyway. Very good too. Sorry. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, man. Um, next question is from Manuel Salamuron. Salamuron? Salamuron? Salamuron. 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 Depending where he's from. Um, who in the group is most likely to unplug someone's life support to charge their phone? I would say Julian, but... Yeah, you yeah. two never have a charge phone, so it's because we work on it so much. Yeah, it's tough. Um, man, uh, what's I don't know. So, I don't feel like anyone in our group. Yeah, there's always oh, charge. You guys took it seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh, very. I sick. forgot that we were meant to be taking the piss there, man. I'm uh, so high. <laughs> I can't even remember the question. That's all right. We've moved on. I need a wee. Sorry. Next question is from Bones and Marco. Um. Sorry, no. sorry, no, Connor. Sean, cut, cut, cut. Uh, 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 next um, question is from um, Ray C three o three. Um, between all the boys, who is the funniest to watch get intoxicated? <sighs> Fuck, the funniest to watch yeah, get, get intoxicated. Well, I like watching Matt because it's so rare. Yeah. What, so your wedding was just you watching me fucked up? Yeah, I was we fucked just at your it. wedding. Yeah, you had a good... Matt, when he parties, is like, oh, imagine a really just happy, happy, extroverted, like, silly oh, man. It got silly, out of silly man. I was so upset because I didn't... I, I felt like I didn't spend time with anyone. I just sort of yeah. roamed around and did my just own thing. just goes, hey. And the night went like that. You were right. It went like that. Mm. And I remember, like, I want to go say hello to certain people and all this stuff and just... I don't remember and then we went to the nightclub and I remember having a good time we're sitting in like a booth that Julian organised and then I found myself at the entrance to the toilet like 
ch- telling these two young dudes that like you can be anything. Oh, and you, that's and you right. Came up, I think it was either no, you, Luke. Luke came up there, and Luke came up and was like, "I was like, what the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> that's just that you just like, oh. Luke. Oh. Yeah, I was just telling these <laughs> like lads Luke, that you can be anything you want to be. Luke came to this point. I remember I was like, I was like, I had my hand on this dude's chest, and like he was this tall. He must have been like nineteen or twenty, young dude, good looking dude. I was like, you can be anything you want. All you got to do is start. <laughs> Oh, and Luke would have just been like, what the fuck are you doing, Kat? <laughs> but in my head, I was like taking the piss. I was just having a good time with it. Yeah, and there was like, yeah. I was trying to chat to fucking anyone who was heading to the toilet. It was a danger zone to go to the toilet for anyone. And, um, but everyone was so nice. <laughs> Matt's like, you know, when you, when you drink, when you, how social you are able to be when you're like first few times you're drinking, like to make you really like. Like I remember when I was like 17, I'd get drunk and I'd just go and hang out with adults and shit that I'd never even met before. Just because your in, you inhibitions confidence. are well and truly gone. Yeah, Matt reminds me of that. Mm. Like it still gives him that. Yeah, Sometimes. well, it's funny he says that because it's like the whole toilet thing. I remember me and Henry went through a stage where we'd just go party in the toilets. Yeah. It's just like people I think, going I think there. It's we better because yeah, everyone there. is willing to have a chat. It's the the music just a tad lower. Yeah, out that's there. the thing. The the club that we were at was shit because it was just doof doof. You couldn't hear a thing. Yeah, I couldn't hear. But anything. like you go to, I guess yeah, you go to a bathroom, you can hear things. It's really really easy <laughs> to hear things. <laughs> And then me and Luke went and got into a fight. <laughs> yeah, Brown almost got bashed. No, I didn't get bashed. <laughs> I had to stop Luke from killing someone. Anyway, next question. Um, uh, I know that was a hate comment. Um, <laughs> oh, that's not good. Romish Fernando. Fernando. That's a beautiful name. Thank dude. you. Um, you guys were talking about the wholesome in early episodes of the podcast. Why can't you take Wholesome again as a sponsor? Um, because they would never sponsor us. <laughs> I work for them still, but um, yeah, I don't think we're the right... You sure you want to leave that in? Yeah, it's fine. Um, I don't think we're the right um, podcast for them to sponsor. Maybe if we were talking about Concrete 24-7. Yeah, like fuck. But, um, as if a concrete company would... Yeah. They probably don't do podcasts at all because it's too niche. It's like, who does concrete podcasts? You probably... Could you do? Oh my God, Matt could start a, con- a <laughs> podcast about concrete. Man, I would actually watch. I would listen Dude, I would to that every day. Listen to that every day as well. Interview my like the people I get, work like with. Get and bags of cement on and interview them and shit. Get Greg on all the time. Just you and your dad. Nah, dad doesn't know a lot about cement. Sorry. Who would you get on as a concrete expert? I don't know. Maybe one of the technical guys. Phil- oh, oh, yuck. oh, oh, dude! <laughs> Imagine that wholesome concrete podcast. Or maybe one of the batches, and they can run us through the process of uh, concrete batching. Dude, you call s- it clear as concrete. <laughs> I reckon that's the title. Of the do you know podcast. a lot of? Do you know a lot of um, our customers call concrete mud? Oh, I got some mud booked in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Imagine someone loving the substance of concrete that much that they make a podcast about it. So, wow, yeah. You sh- apparently you can get concrete burn. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah and apparently it's quite dangerous. Oh, yeah. We've done it. We, so. We've had it. Um, next is from Will Fenwick. <laughs> um, okay. Um, don't know if you've answered this in the past, but where the heck do you get your outfits from? Surely they're not in your normal wardrobe. And where do you get the inspiration for them? We just go fucking costume shops sometimes. We go to op shops and when we're buying shit for other shit, we'll see the shit. Yeah. This is Luke's, this rain jacket. It's like a legit rain jacket. Is it? Yeah. Sorry. And, you know, we've we've filmed like over a thousand videos in our lives. So we've got a lot of fucking props and shit left over. There's a wardrobe room. Yeah, I'll go, if I go past Spotlight, I'll quickly go through and see what's on Spesh. Michael's got a, like a loyalty card there. He's Yeah, they love him there. Love I'm him. really good at knitting. Yeah. Next, Next question, question is from, from MRK2000. Have you guys seen the Big Les show? If so, would you consider getting its creator, Jared Wright, on as a guest? Yes, yes. we have. And yes, we have. And yes, he is. So that, that answers that. Move that mic, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> is it in your way? Yeah. I wonder if that's in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Next <laughs> question is from Peep Crab. Um, where the fuck did the sticker go on Matt's laptop? Wasn't on there once the oh. guest showed up. Now I realize a lot of people ask this um, thing and stuff like that. And then I realize it's because we actually, the uh, guest came earlier and we wanted to film it first yeah. and get it out of the way. So yeah, my Stormtrooper it, sticker disappeared uh, halfway through that's and right. then yeah, that wouldn't reappeared. Have made sense. Yeah, sometimes and it shocked everyone. Sometimes with guests, we have to be flexible for their times. So we fucking just go whenever they're don't, available. Don't fuck off. You fucking pig. <laughs> I'll fucking bash you if you do that again. Man, I had it. I had a fucking bit. Oh, I need to rip and it would have been gone. I would have eaten it. Apologize. No, it's shit. You and me are going to have a fucking lengthy talk after we'll this We'll have podcast. a wrestle. You want to wrestle? Yep. Dude, I would love... I just saw the next week's oh, Matt first, Michael. Shit. Yeah, but it's on the feet. <laughs> on the feet? Yeah, wrestling from no, the feet. No, because then you'll sling each other to the ground and shit yeah, will go flying everywhere. It's going to be a fucking brawl. Oh, no. I just realized I have something that's... Hurting. That... I'm just going to bend your fucking wrist back. Oh, away. I've lost! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want. I want to play golf. I yeah, I want to play golf too. All right, I don't want to do anything violent with Michael. I, do, I love him. He's wrestling too much. on the knees, maybe. Yeah, oh, no, man. I don't. Want I've to... taken this. What just happened, and I've stored it, and it's it's written down. Yeah, I don't want to hurt him. I'm gonna to refuse to to wrestle him. Well, he'll, he'll, <laughs> what yeah. if he does? He'll get his sticker then. He'll get his sticker. You have I'd to rather defend yourself. I'd rather him pull his sticker off than me bash him. I really would. It's just right. it's not on. But I I like to threaten. Let's drink bong water. That's what he likes to threaten. Oh. What's that? Yeah, that was actually the end of the question. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the question, everybody. Yeah. Now it's time for this. You want to one? Let's have the prank calls. Woo! I think we're, 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 is that, we're, we're, oh, wait, no. Movies. Oh, shit, the movie review. Shit. It's Mad Bong Break. break. Bong Break. Emergency. Bong it. Break, everybody. Here we go. Matt's got a movie for Michael to review. Matt's father's name is Greg, and Michael would rather be dead. This is Michael's movie review. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just saying quietly right now that Matt got mad at me for not watching movies and he hasn't watched a website video so that is shit you haven't given me one you got a fucking forward think where's my movie boys here bang 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 yeah i organize your movie you have to organize mine okay i also don't have access to them well we give you anyway yeah it's free you should be paying. sorry you should be paying for it oh i had to sign up to stand last night <laughs> <laughs> That's the best bit of it. <laughs> Is that the only place that showed it? It was fucking oh, okay. No. But look, I'm gonna turn over a new leaf and be positive to you. I need to ask, just in case, did you watch the Keanu Reeves one? He didn't watch the movie. That's called Point Break. Yeah. There's no Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. No, it's not. Fuck, I knew this would happen. He watched the wrong one. How is there two point breaks? There's two point breaks. What happened in it? Man, it was actually pretty cool. It was a weird concept about trying to reach Nirvana. And oh, like, shit. Do you know you both of them? fucking dickhead. I'm pretty sure I said it in the last podcast. Make you went to County Reeves one, not the fucking new one. It's I'm shit. not going to lie. I saw the guy and I was like, he sort of looks like Keanu Reeves, but blonde. So I just sort of went with that. And then I sort of enjoyed the, the weird action film, but I got into it. Did you see Did Anthony, Anthony Kiedis? No. So yeah, you watched the wrong film. You didn't watch it at all, did you? No, I watched Point Break. Look it up. I fucking watched Point I've Break. I've never even seen it because it's that shit. No, it was like he has like he has to reach eight. I can't believe like, Michael's watched, watched a movie. So that you signed up to something and you you didn't listen to me. You watched the wrong one. Point Break. You said. Yeah, I watched, uh, but we did Stan, warn you, bang, and you've it. upset everyone now, especially the person who suggested this. Well, by saying, the Point Break that I watched, right? The no, one without hear, Keanu Reeves. I don't want to hear it. It is actually the best film out of every film you've oh, given there me. There you go. <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. It was <laughs> accidental legit, like, double. <laughs> like I was just entertained. The concept I'd never seen before. You need to there was extreme. Much, no, there was extreme sports. 
heaps of like fucking snowboarding i enjoyed a bit of surfing was okay there was heaps of motor like cross a bit of skateboarding it was fun and exciting mountain bike riding just let me know when he stops talking because i can't upset. dude honestly of <laughs> course the film that you don't give me ends up being the best <laughs> Some random shit film <laughs> with the same name I have found to be better than your shit options. Please comment which point break you think is better. Okay. If you've watched them both. Well, this had a bit of surfing in it, so it seemed like the same thing. You didn't tell me there were two point breaks. Yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure on the last You said something said about it. Keanu Reeves. This guy looked like Keanu Reeves, but blonde. I will pull it up. <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty sure. So what do you give it out of 10? It was like, I'd say a six. A six. six? Yeah. So six. I'm pretty sure you've given Matt's higher than six before. I think, no, I'm pretty sure 300 got a six. Uh, you watched X Machina. You said you liked that and you gave that higher. I think I gave sure. that an eight or a nine. Yeah. It was not as good as X Machina, but like it was the second best film you've given me. <laughs> it had a 17. <laughs> All right, Matt, what are you giving this week? Maybe pick one that doesn't have um, the same title. How can they even do that? I know, what, what, can crazy. we put a movie out tomorrow called Titanic? Yeah, yeah. you could. We have. Re what? Remake. Yeah, we did that what? the other week. No, but like it just has nothing to do with it. It's a remake of... It's like a remake, but the all, everything's different. Yeah, yeah but well, can we put a movie out right now? It was. Yeah, if you want to remake what? a movie called Titanic. What? Yeah, we have. Have you seen Dances with Wolves? Oh, God. Okay. Nah. <laughs> yes. Is that the one with kevin costner <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is have you seen it yeah i, I have actually seen it. and look i didn't mind it because like i'm i'm a dog guy oh god it's full of wolves is this like some family film no no it's not a family it's um no i wouldn't call it family at all i'm pretty yeah. sure it's like mma well um mma i still oh it's a fighting film <laughs> no no i say i'm pretty sure the ratings mma oh, okay MMA. Yeah, we should have told him it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where's the fucking yeah, UFC? Yeah, the thing, hang on. This isn't. This can't be the film. It's yeah. another one. Knowing me, I'd probably watch that film. You probably find. You probably find an MMA <laughs> film called Dances with Wolves. Yeah, he'd make one, bro. He'd fucking make one. <laughs> like, bro. Well, I really like. I really like Dances with Wolves, and it won. I'm pretty sure it won Best Picture, Best Director. Yeah, the you can't really go wrong knows things like that like yeah that is a strange thing to know yeah i said that because oh thought, man i thought it might annoy it's him so, yeah, yeah it does dude it gets under my skin what year was it made 90 i'm gonna go 95 oh yeah oh, dude. God. I, I, i'm down for 90s i don't films. know somewhere we'll see there. we'll see maybe it's 94? like nostalgic in some weird way 91 somewhere in the 90s and that is the end of michael's movie reviews matt give him a movie oh we just did okay <laughs> oh, is, this, is that on purpose no dude i'm fucking is the, rocked right now yeah it's all right there is po man. box there but if you want to skip it because we've been going too long Look, I understand. i'll quickly just do this and this is how you we do got it. a letter we got a letter it's in the definitely hair box. watch out it's definitely hair now in your bra it is oh wow there is a bit of hair yep. that's great news everyone We've been sent some more pubic hair for our pubic hair box. Dear Michael, well, Marty and Michael, you're probably the best friends going around, not only trying to find the brown husband, but also cure his crippling baldness. Fucking top notch. The <laughs> cunt should be more grateful. There you go. I'm, I don't know how I'm not grateful. Fuck you. Here is my contribution to his pubic wig. Thank you very much. I've also found these four... A tabs in my old keep oh, safe box. What are, they a are what are A tabs? Vintage tabs. 2016. One of each for you, plus the Brown and James. If you fellas aren't keen, just give them to all to Julian. That cunt's fuck day. I love you like Darren loves the people who take his side. <laughs> That's fucking, we love you too. Who to show? That is a good sign. That is a cool fuck, fucking man, gift. That is such a good. This is the best PO box we've ever gotten. There no, is a pube wait, in here with it, but I'm going to excuse that. If P.O. Box... Oh, sorry, if P.O. Box... If acid tabs have been left for ages, are they more... I don't know. We'll like, have to, I'll have to research I reckon it. we do them next yeah. week. Next week's podcast at the beginning. Will you do that? With crack them out? Would you do it? No. We all have half at least. No, I'm too scared. Yeah, because I wonder... We can't do to, drugs on the podcast. put a lot of trust in that person, but I, I do. I trust him immediately. Yeah, I, I know that he's a straight shooter. He's I don't know if we should do more maker. drugs on the podcast. It turns a bit mushy. Oh, what have we got here, eh? Watch yourself. There's something hard in there. I didn't know what it was. Fart powder? Oh, wow. We, we really wanted some. What's fart powder? 
I don't know. It just smells, does it? Yeah. There's, there's some writing there. It says here, Hey, Martius Fartius, here's a bit of farting fly cleaner to help you explode your guts on the pod. Braxton, where are you? Fuck yeah. No. All right. And that is P.O. Box, everybody. And now it's time for the prank calls. Ellis- your time is there for us to waste. Is that it? <laughs> Man, it is intense. (laughs) Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha ha, ha ha. It's prank call time. Uh, Hello, uh, my name is Arnold Fine. I uh, see you have uh, at, say, you uh, do babysit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where did you actually see that advertisement? I saw an, uh, I saw on uh, a little uh, poster on uh, on wall in uh, in Vulvan. Vulvers. Yes, is is that at um oh at Wulwan? Calls. Hmm. I, I I see calls. Maybe I cannot uh, remember. I just see your number. Uh, DD. Oh, okay. Babysitting. Look. Look, I was at one stage. I'm Shh, no longer. Um, no, I'm no longer. What? Uh, what uh, I have a right price. Uh, maybe I see. Uh, maybe I see uh, for right price. Shh, sh- sorry, my baby cry. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough. Okay? Yeah. Hey, uh, Look, I I pay a good price. Okay, I have uh, maybe two, three hundred dollar per hour. I just need uh, four or five hour, okay? Uh, yeah. And uh, he four years old. Yeah. He's four yeah. years old, okay? He have a few uh, things wrong, okay? He um, cannot um, see his eye. One eye look there, the other eye look uh, that way. And uh, he cannot um, talk. And uh, very, yeah. very big, Look. a big, fresh boy. But uh, four, $400 <laughs> per hour, I'm no kidding, okay? I need it very urgent. Okay, but I, I'm actually working um, somewhere else now. Can he come but with I- you? I drop him uh, to your uh, work. I give you leash. Uh, he put on back. Uh, he not run. Um, and uh, I start there. I do not mind. <laughs> Hey, yeah. No. Come on, control that. It's a fun and calm in my head. I don't like calling. What are you? He loves uh, baking and uh, he bakes with with you and um, he, uh, give him phone. He look YouTube. Uh, no problem, okay? Where you work, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, for me. No, I'm, um, your mama. I'm your papa. Huh? Papa. Oh, me papa. I love no, no, I'm Papa. <laughs> so sorry. I can't help so you sorry. Okay. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm look, not look, babysitting any longer. But thank you for making that inquiry. Okay. I do hope. Well, maybe you, you need to take uh, down your ad on at course, cause uh, now I waste my time. Uh, <laughs> I call, I call your number, okay? And uh, you tell me now, uh, or oh, not uh, business anymore? And uh, uh, my baby crying now. Uh, what you want? Huh? You must accept. Huh? You must accept. No, I can choose. If I really want any client, I can choose. And. I'm 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 sorry. I'm not available at this time. Okay, but I did not even give you time, uh, and you say you're not available. Oh, come on, you think you ah? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Dude, that was so oh. rough. Oh, that was so oh, hard man. to listen to. That Why? Was, it was I don't just, know. Cringe is just my palms are sweaty. Oh man, I thought yeah, that poor lady, but it was very oh. And very, she was really trying to tell you that like, hey, I'm so sorry, I'm unavailable. But that was like, really like yeah. that genuinely <laughs> hit her, you hit the baby, <laughs> then it stopped crying. Immediately. Oh, like I'd knocked it out, man. I was being Turkish. <laughs> you guys could send me that clip. I'll post it on TikTok. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, God. All right, guys. That's Don't the end you... of the podcast this oh. week. We'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a five star review. It's all we wank to. Please, I'm begging you. I'm on my knees, cunt. We're the best, Can though. We're the best. 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 We're the